Welcome to April Fool's Day 2013, and welcome to the vlog. I just got through turning the music off, and then I woke him up when I started talking. So, he's the little baby. He's a little baby phoenix. He's rocking. He's rocking. We have stuff to do today. See, I'm trying to rock with him. Rock with him. Rock with him. Rock with him. The other day when I went to Walmart, I never showed you what I got. It wasn't too big of, of a thing of what I got. I got some paint. This is kind of a purple. This one is not purple. And this one here has a purple tinge, but it happens to be brown. Those are the paints that I got. And then I also have some other paints from last year. And what are these for? These are for the birdhouses. So that's that's something that's gonna be done today, possibly. Did we lose our binky? We got the yar, we got the, the skull and crossbones for the baby. How do you feel about that? So this is what we've got. This one here, I'm going to attach to the base simply because I want to do kind of like a graveyard thing in it because that is the freaking mansion. This is the creme de la creme of birdhouses. I mean, this, look how many rooms there are in there. And the little birds can go in there and like mingle and have card parties or poker parties or charades, whatever birds do. Right here, I'm not gonna put on a platform. I'm gonna leave it as a standalone. And the color schemes, I really like this one for this one because it's got the trim around the windows already. And then this one over here, I've got some trim that I can put around the windows, but I really like that kind of theme for that. And of course, they're, they're not going to look exactly like those. I'm not copying them. It's just I really like those paint schemes. So that's what I'm going to do. And oh my gosh, the sun is coming out. You guys are witnessing the sun coming out. And speaking of the sun, I've got the sun right here. It's my sun. I thought I heard the mom too. Where's your mom at? The most important part of painting any house is to protect your investment. So here's what I've done guys. <laughs> I've started underneath the eaves because this is the most difficult and the messiest to paint. So once I do the trim and the roof, then I won't have to worry about repainting you know, this stuff back in here. So this stuff comes first. So the first coat is going on very very excited see it's birdhouses but it's still haunting it's still a haunted house it's just a haunted birdhouse and just like that the first coat is done and before you guys say what the heck you painted the whole thing it's going to be like that purple people eater house well no i got to thinking about it and the wood is extremely poor so it's going to need more than one coat and you guys know the way that i build if this is going to be used outside in the weather no matter where you are it's gonna rain, you don't want the paint coming off, you don't have to repaint your house after a year. I like my stuff to last, that's what I'm gonna say. Anyway, because I can't formulate my words right now. So anyway, first coat's done. Uh, second coat is gonna be exactly like the first coat, and then I'll go back and start doing the detail as far as the, the shutters. And you guys are probably also asking, oh, you're not gonna add anything? Well, on this one here, I wanna concentrate on the graveyard. I'll put a couple little things on like, you know, the, the porch, uh, the stoops, and then also um, the, the effects for the roof. Um, I'm just going to paint effects on the roof um, because I wanted these to be quick and simple because my projects always tend to last like a really long time, like the exit signs. I need to go and get a transformer and now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that today because there's other things that need to get done. So anyway, this is one thing. I'm doing something Halloween related. You guys are welcome and it's fun and I like it, and it's a birdhouse, and it's starting to look cool. And I know, I showed this a couple weeks ago, but it was kind of dark at the time. Scary scarecrow on the neighbor's roof. The reason why he puts it up there is because of the crows and the seagulls, it's just freaking crazy. And now, now that we don't have this tree right here, I'm really worried that they're going to use our roof peaks more than what they had been before. Beetlejuice is once again secure under lock and key. Well, I mean, this time he's actually secure. But anyway, yes, Beetlejuice is put away. It's turning out to be a very nice day weather-wise. And so let's go probably maybe get, oh, my haircut. Gotta do that. I am so, so sorry. I apologize. 
I'm very disappointed in myself. I was going to do this this whole cool little uh, uh, April 1st, um, um, April Fool's Day prank where I was going to film something without my haircut yet and I was going to like start to fade in the new haircut and then say ha just kidding April Fools and then continue to talk with the old hair or the no haircut so you guys were like whoa what would that be that, that he had his haircut I swear I saw it and then it's gone so no I whatever here it is haircut no getting back to the haunted birdhouse just about ready to put the second coat on and start the barbecue for some brats, not to be confused with wieners. Just don't want to eat a wiener. Never mind. So here I am painting, and I'm listening, and I hear it. Do you hear it? Do you guys remember the roof duck? Look, it's a fence duck. <laughs> I wonder if fence ducks are still good luck. I want the roof duck back. That was kind of cool. Do you guys remember the roof duck? Quack, quack. Yeah, flag. Trying to talk to it. Get discount on, like, medical. Final purple coat is done on this. And I noticed something, guys. I noticed something that's kind of exciting. I know I'm getting excited over birdhouses. Haunted birdhouses. Take a look. The center one is separate from this one. And this one is separate from all of them. There are three different rooms in there. And I know you can't see it. Well, you can kind of see it there. See the wall? And then over here is the same thing. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Eh, wall. Heh. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. So it's a it's it's a mansion. It's a true mansion. It's a three-bedroom mansion. Hola, Babinos. Well, Babino. Oh my gosh, you have an aura over your head. Remember how Phoenix had that one picture? Mm -hmm. You've got the like, oh, stuff over your head. Do we have a hat? Isn't that a cool pirate hat or what? That is, yar. Sean, or excuse me, okay. Captain Jack Scarrow would be very happy with that. Huh, and Sean? shirt too. <laughs> pirate shirt. Awesome. Oh, and Columbia, uh, Corey would be happy with that. I can't see it, there we go. I, I keep getting sunspots. Base coat on Haunted Birdhouse El Numero Dos completed. And along with brats. Mmm. Jalapeno con queso. Uh, solo queso. I know you guys are going to be disappointed. I've done eh, a little bit of painting on the mansion birdhouse. And this is what I've come up with. A little toyish looking yes. Is it done? No. But. I really, I, I'm liking the way it's turning out. Um, the other the other ones, um, I'm going to do spookier. But if you really want a bird to inhabit this, then it needs to be kind of colorful and bright. So that's one reason why I'm doing it this way. Um, it's not exactly turning out like the picture, but I said before that I'm not doing it like the picture. But, you know, this is kind of like what I'm going for. So I still have some detail to do on the roof. And, you know, the courtyard still going to put it on another platform do like a graveyard up front, um, have some more painting to do to the steps. Um, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Should they be uh, brown like wood or should they be like concrete, uh, like dry lock or something? And then down here, um, I'm thinking about doing my, uh, my moss uh, as kind of like grass for the yard because it would be using the same paint. You guys, if you haven't seen it on the channel, there's a moss tutorial, you guys need to go to it. Uh, because it's using real moss, but the moss absorbs the paint, and then it won't get ruined by weather, and birds probably won't uh, take and, like, peck it and use it for nesting or whatever. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. That's the haunted birdhouse. I'm not going to use that one as the icon or the uh, thumbnail for the video, simply because I don't want to give it away. Facebook question. Oh, no! Contest! Contest update. Guys, this is crazy. Yesterday, and I've been doing this weird, like, mending or, or interlacing. I don't know what the hell I've been doing. But when I do this at night, so right now it is 30, and with the editing magic, only 19 subscribers remain 
until the end of the contest. So we're talking the next like two, maybe three, four days, like two to four days to this contest being over. Once we make it to 4,000 subscribers, I will announce it on the vlog and the contest will not close until like the, the next day, but I will announce it on the vlog so that you guys will know when the deadline is. And both Gothic Dorothy and um, Sean Boswell, who is a uh, Yard of Terror Kentucky, uh, are sending in some items to further the contest. So, you know, this is the last push, guys. This is it right here. So, so push. Um, you're gonna have to go back to the vlog a couple days ago to find out what to do. What to do? Facebook question of the day for the 31st, which was yesterday. But to you guys, it's the day before yesterday. Are you starting to pick this up now? The vlog time continuum? Are we starting to roll with it? Starting to understand it just a little bit? Yeah, I'm still lost. The last time I got scared was blank. I was so surprised I blank. Tanya said. The last time I was scared, I was at work a few weeks ago when a coworker snuck up behind me and went, ah! I was so surprised, I punched him in the gut. The other coworkers laughed at him. And again, I was going through and I was starting to like, you know, do what I do every night and select COC, but it just so happens that there's not that many, so I'm just gonna cruise through them really quickly. So, here we go, Mr. Bulldozer's videos first. Yes, Doyle, you are. Thank you for commenting again. Missed ya. Yard of Terror, Kentucky. That's Sean. Second, which who knows last. Hope you all had a great Easter. We did. Thank you. Pretty cool to see the bears go Easter egg hunting. Everyone seemed to like it a lot. Where were you all at? A zoo? Uh, we were actually at Northwest Trek. What gave you the idea to go to the bear Easter egg hunt? When did you get that idea? Like that morning? You know, they posted it about a week before. Oh, so it was premeditated. I've never seen bears eat or hunt Easter eggs. That was just like really cool. Mr. Ninjalo, did you see the beta Google smell app? That's funny. Um, I did see it, but being, you know, April 1st and everything, obviously it was a farce. Emerald Gypsy Heart. 331, 1920, day 98,375,987,871. Do what? Yes, guys. I screwed with things a little bit. Um, Awoken Nightmare. Looks like another fun day out with the family. Phoenix will be lucky to see his first Easter when he's older. That's one awesome thing about doing the vlogs is it's a daily journal for basically for all of us. You know, we get to look back and see what happened on this day. So, you know, when Phoenix is 15 years old, it'd be like, what happened on the 1st of April 2013? Or, well, obviously select your date here. Emerald Gypsy Heart again. Awesome to see the brown bears hunt Easter eggs on Easter. Um, you drive, do, won't you take Phoenix and Lori Lee to Northwest Trek? I didn't understand that part, um, but did we miss Minnie Me with y'all? No, she was actually with a friend that day hanging out. Crazy Honor 24, what's up with the day number? The day number was screwed up because it was like the 1st of April and stuff, and I wanted to mess with you guys. Derek Wilper, why did you not stop by and say hi? I feel bad about doing this. We Okay, guys, um, Derek is my cousin, and uh, they were on the way but we were on a time constraint to get there because they started the uh, the show at 1.30. And then on the way back, we had to get to my parents really quickly. So we just simply didn't have the time to stop by. And I was gonna call on the way there, but I was driving, so I couldn't call. I was gonna call and say, hey, we're driving by, bye. And no, I couldn't call. <laughs> Mr. Trav 272, my Easter was okay as usual, but nothing scary yet. And you're welcome, guys. Now I just need to figure out how to create a mazed graveyard. Borgex2679, what happened to the day counter on the video? Happy Easter to you and your family, Troy. Well, thank you, and we hope that you had a happy Easter too, and the day counter was screwed up because it was the 1st of April. Thief Thick HS, vlog 0331-1320, day 98, 37, blah, 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 blah. April Fool's Day, right? You were the only one that got it, I think, weren't you? Yes, I double-checked. You were the only one that got it, that it was April Fool's. 
And guessing 96, awesome Easter. Well, good. I'm glad that you had an awesome Easter. So from us guys to you, we hope that you had an awesome Easter and a really good April Fool's Day. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy hunting. That didn't work. Um, but while you were awake, you know, were y'all well? Um, but while you were awake, <laughs>